today's video. So in today's video I'm going to be showing you everything that I've bought and how I decorate for autumn and fall. So if you want to decorate with me then please keep watching. Okay so I have just laid everything out. Um, so these are the pieces that I've either had previously or I've been collecting um, and being honest I've really struggled this year. Um, usually we decorate for Halloween but I mean that's kind of like the sort of bright orange and black caution tape, things like that, so I won't do that until nearer the time. But this year, I really wanted to change up some, some of my green decor um, for more kind of like rustic wooden decor pieces. Um, and usually I would have gone to places like HomeSense or TK Maxx for pumpkins. Um, there was one Saturday when I just managed to pop up there on the off chance and I got a few pieces, which I'll show you in a second. But other than that, I don't. I, th I honestly feel like they're just skipping autumn and going straight to Christmas because they've already started putting their Christmas decorations out. I haven't even, this breaks my heart to say this, but I've not even managed to find a pumpkin candle this year. Um, so I don't have any of that to burn, which is what I would usually like to burn. So, um, it, I mean, it is what it is. We're working with what we're working with. I mean... I've got a few pieces from the range which are super good value for money. Um, so if I just very quickly run through everything, what I will, um, what you will notice I do is throughout the year I switch out my prints. Um, these two prints here are from a Instagram shop which she sells through Etsy and it's called Freddy the Kid. Um, so I've just got a pumpkin spice and I'll switch that over with a frame in the front room. This one was already in a frame um, because I don't have any other black frames on my shelves. So I just keep this one in there and bring it out. Um, so I love those and the quality of those is amazing. These are new purchases. So these are from a company called Winster Creations. I'll link everything down below with the link. So I've got a Hey Pumpkin print. Let me just see if I can open this a second. So I got two of them and I purchased two new frames. So I've got this one here that says, Hey Pumpkin. And then this one here that says, Hello Autumn. And I got two new frames for them to go in because I like the white frames on my shelves now. I've taken out the, the black ones that I had. Um, these were 6 69 They are really big, so they're a lot bigger than the other. I mean, this was the sort of size I would go for before. So you can see against that, it is really big. So I've got two of those to pop those in. Um, this here, I picked this up in Morrison's. It was actually reduced to 15 pence. I got three packs of them, so I've got one already that I put in a um, vase. I just wanted to see how it would look. So I'm going to pop these in my one in the front room. So what I'm planning on doing with it, it's just been sat in the house now for about five days anyway. I'm not popping it in any water. I've read online, if you just cut the ends off, take the um, ones that are falling off here it will just sit really nicely dried out and it will last a long time so i just thought that's a really kind of like autumnal stem to have in the vase so i'm going to switch out my flowers in the front room for those in this bag here you'll see me filling up in a little bit but when we went on our log cabin weekend ollie and darcy picked lots and lots of um pine cones um, and conkers so we're going to use that around the house as well um this little halloween <laughs> What is she? It's supposed to be a skeleton witch. I got her from Home Sense last year. I think I paid £4 something because I got her after Halloween. So I thought she could feature somewhere. Um, these light chains I got from Morrison's in clearance. I think I paid £2 for those. So I'm just going to try and attach these somehow in the lantern that sits by my grate and log burner. 
I managed to pick up some potpourri um, in the St. Clementine from the range. This was 4 .99. As I said, usually um, last year I got a really lovely set from HomeSense, but they've got nothing at all. Um, no potpourri at all. So I'm going to pop one of those in my um, vases and get that all set up. Now I've got these two here from the range. They're just a set of two wooden plates. These were $7.99, but how lovely are they? What I'm thinking is the bigger one, I'm gonna keep in the middle of the table, see if I can pop this lantern, which again is from the range. Um, how much was this? Let me get the receipt a second. $2.99 this was, so I need to pop some batteries in, but I thought if I could sit that in the middle there and I can put some pine cones around it, and I bought these um, smaller pumpkins from Hobbycraft, which I'm gonna try and spray paint rose gold, and I can just sit them around the outside, and then I've got another smaller one that I can use in the front room, so that's what I'm planning on doing with that. Um, I picked up this wooden heart from the range, I'm probably gonna put this on my radiator cover. Oh. It's not hurt my pumpkins. So I picked up this wooden heart from the range. I'm gonna switch this out for my radiator cover because I've got kind of like a green leaf wooden um, ornament on it, which I just wanna get rid of the green for now. And this was 4 .99. And it's really sturdy actually for 4 .99. Now this doorstop, I'm so gutted they only had one. I wanted two so I could replace the two doorstops that I have now because they're falling apart and I needed new ones. So I got this from HomeSense for 5 .99, but obviously I need two, so I am on the lookout for another one. Um, also, I got this wooden log here. This is from the range also. This was $3.99. Um, I got this before I got the dishes there, because um, I actually think I prefer those to this, but I'm sure I can find somewhere to put this, maybe in the front room and I can pop a candle on, albeit it won't be a pumpkin candle, but yeah, we can try and pop that on. Um, I got a sequin pumpkin. This is from HomeSense, this was $7.99, it's just soft. So yeah, I need to find somewhere for that. Um, I've just got this, my mum gave me this for Christmas actually and I brought it down from upstairs in my room because I thought it would look lovely down here. So it's just um, like an acorn candle and this was from Next I believe. This sign I absolutely love. I picked this up last night from the range and this was 5 99 and it says begin each day with a grateful heart and it's kind of got the rustic wood log effect around the outside so as you can see that's the theme I'm going for. Now these two pumpkins here I did manage to pick up from HomeSense and they were 6 99 each and they're, see, need to be careful with those because they are glass. Um, so I've got those to match and then these pumpkins here I've had to get off of um, Etsy so I found the Instagram shops I found the shop, sorry, through Instagram. So the two orange pumpkins are from an Etsy shop called Rosie Plumpton. I'll link it below. So this pumpkin was £12 and the extra large one was a custom, but I think she is now listing them um, on the Etsy store or you can just pop her a message on Instagram again I'll link the handle down below and the extra large was 18 but I mean I am so impressed with the quality of these they are absolutely stunning um, and then these two um, pumpkins were from a shop I not quite sure I'll link it down below but again it was another Instagram um, shop that I came across um, now these when I compare them to the quality of these I think I paid a bit too much for these, but I mean, it's fine, I've got them now. So I think this one was 12 pounds and this one was 11 or the other way around. Um, but I mean, they are tiny in comparison to these ones here. So yeah, I mean, I do love the colors and I'll, you know, come up with some sort of display, but yeah. So I'm just gonna do a time lapse of me decorating for autumn and fall. Here in the UK, we are a little bit restricted um, because I just, seems that people or shops don't have the amount of choice i wanted to get kind of like an autumn plaque but they don't i couldn't find one anywhere so let's get to decorating if you're gonna leave me then just do it don't take it slow don't be gentle no i just gotta know if you're gonna leave me then just do Second, yeah, you 
video for today everyone I really hope you enjoyed what I did in terms of decorating for autumn and fall um, this year was obviously a little bit difficult in terms of decor pieces there wasn't a great deal usually my go-to would be places like HomeSense and TK Maxx um, but they just haven't had the range that they would usually have obviously it's probably out of their control with everything that's been going on um, but yeah we've made the best of it and styled with what we could actually find the range was a great place I found so if you're in the UK and you've got a range near to you I would highly recommend checking that out I especially love my garland that I've got here above the beam that was my amazing Amazon find um, everything that I can I will link down below some of the pieces are sold out on the range website um, but they are available in my local store in Bristol so I would just say have a look online obviously it does change all the time but if you do have a range nearby to you I would just recommend just going in and having a look um, they are starting to transition between um, autumn and Christmas now but they do still have a great range available um, but yeah I really hope you enjoyed please don't forget to give it a thumbs up up and leave me a comment down below if you're not already i really hope you'll consider subscribing to my channel and i will see you in my next video bye everyone I